char that we don't have down here. We don't do anything to maintain the temperature. The char works for us. And the chalk is very important for our region because the vines grow on a chalky soil that adds a very special flavor to our champagne. So we're very glad to have the chalk down here. The house de Donger was founded in 1932 by Pierre Charles de Donger, and he was lucky. He got to buy one of the oldest champagne houses in France. It was called Forest if we know. It was founded in 1734. It was a prosperous champagne house, but unfortunately with no successor. So Pierre Charles de Donger bought the company, gave his name to it, and it remained a family business since that time. Our president today is Pierre Emmanuel de Donger. He's his grandson, and he works with two of his children, Claudie and Vitaly de Donger, together. So it's still a family company today. They own about 290 hectares. They are well spread all over the Champagne region. It's about 34 villages that own de Donger vineyards, and it's quite a big amount for only one house of Champagne. Where we are now, this is the cellar saint Niquette, and it's one of our two cellars. The second one is in the center of France, it's called Cellar Justice, because it's in Street Justice, that's where the main production takes place. This cellar here is four kilometers long, and we store three million bottles of champagne, and the Justice cellar is ten kilometers long, and we store 19 million bottles of champagne. <laughs> all the work in the Justice cellar is done with machines, and down here we do all the work by hand. So each bottle that you see is a real bottle. Please don't shake them around, it's not too good. <laughs> but the cellar where we are now is the more interesting one because it has two origins. The first origin was in the fourth century. When the Gallo Romans came here, they started building the city of Rams and they needed the material for their construction works. So they came down here and cut out huge chalk pits to start building the city of Rams. And the second origin was in the 13th century when there was the abbey called Abbey saint Niquet, right above us, where Tetonje is today. It was unfortunately destroyed during the French Revolution, and all the remains that we have are underground. So you see a staircase right behind you. That is where the monks used to come down to pray down here and to store wine. And there's a little chapel right there. That's where the monks pray. You can come close and have a look. Today we don't pray there anymore, but we have some bottles of champagne. This is our Comte de Champagne, our most prestigious champagne. It's a vintage champagne that means it's only one year of harvest. And we don't produce it each year, only when the quality of the grapes was the best, so we can say, okay, this is going to be a vintage year, and we can produce it. <coughs> it's 100% Chardonnay, and we named it after Thibault IV, who was Count of Champagne, so the name of the best champagne we have, Comte de Champagne, Comte de Champagne. It was also the favorite champagne of James Bond in the first James Bond movie. <laughs> and you see, this bottle has a different shape. It has a fatter body and a shorter neck, and this is the ancient, ancient shape of a champagne bottle. And you see, we try to have a difference between our bottles. So you see, this is the best one we have, and the other ones are still quite good, but not as good. <laughs> And we, because we do all the work by hand for this champagne down here, we have it in the cellar Stephanie cats, and you see a second kind of champagne. This is our Brut Reserve on the Riddling Racks. This is a Jarabon bottle containing three liters of champagne, and we also have Methuselah bottles containing six liters of champagne in the cellar right here. But they're too heavy and too big for any machinery, so we have to do all the work by hand for this champagne in big bottles and for the best champagne we have. And this one is the one champagne you're going to taste after our tour. Mm -hmm. So please feel free to take pictures. Even the flash is fine, and we will continue this way. But take your time and take some pictures if you'd like. Mm -hmm. <laughs>